We'll discuss now how to set up a spray program and then how to name an individual boundary. So one of the first things we'll do is from the home screen, we'll go to fields and boundaries, go to current location. The client is actually the golf course um, or the property. So we'll just name it ABC Golf. And again, the farm would be considered the program. So fairway program, T program. Um, today, let's just name it uh, fairway program. Okay, ABC Golf, fairway program. And now we're going to name the individual boundary. So this would be the individual fairway that we'll be spraying. So you get field, we want a new field. So this would be fairway one. Okay, and then just hit save. So we have ABC Golf, fairway program, fairway one. And hit okay. And you can verify that this is all correct. This is where you wanna be. And then after you name your field, you wanna create a boundary. So the boundary is going to be is going to tell the machine where it can and can't spray. Anything on the inside of the boundary, the machine will, the sprayer will um, spray. Um, anything outside of it, it will not spray. So what we want to do is create this this map or this boundary is we want to drive it. So to create a boundary, you're going to drive it physically with the machine. Um, the boundary is going to be from the front left tire. So in order to map from the front left tire. I'm going to hit GPS. Um, the offset is going to be 2.417. So the offset is from the center of the Starfire or the receiver above us. It's 2.417 feet off to the front to map from the front left tire. So the diagram here will show you off, um, where you're mapping from. When you're in the fairway um, and you're ready to start mapping, you hit start record and that will basically map and you'll see a line being drawn as you're mapping the, the boundary. You have the option to pause as well. So if you want to uh, have any reason to pause in the middle of mapping, you can do that and then you can restart it.